today we're going to look at the wolf pack by prometheus design works i'm going to do an in the field review because i feel like that's a really great way to show you what this pack is like to own and hopefully help you make a decision about whether you want one or not let's get to it so i'm going to walk through setting up this wolf pack for the first time just to show you how easy it is to set up of course you're going to start with the waist belt put that on make sure that's in then you're gonna get the straps up they go pretty well I've got loops for pulling on but they've also got little sliders that can go on the straps sternum strap get that in and load lifters tight it in readjust that okay no movement in that really it's on my back it's gonna stick on yeah smash in The waist belt's removable if you don't need it. Just lift that up, it's quite easy. Both sides is a G hook, it just attaches into the laser cut webbing. It's gone, that sticks down, these can come out. I'm obviously going to use it, so I'm going to put that back in. I'll show you how easy it is to install. It's even with gloves, lifting the side off. It's hook on one side, loop on the other. You put the hook on the loop, and that goes over, push that in. G hooks go on either side, cinch them down once you've got your backpack on. You can put them wherever you like. I can stick at the back here. There you go. This was the best point I found to stick my Peak Design capture clip on. Probably use a bit of a better place to do that on the strap, but it's quite fat, you see. Wasn't gonna go around in the place I wanted it. So, small little niggle. If you want to access your water bottle while you're on the move, it's completely doable. Get a drink. And then back in. You can even loop this bit around. Keep it a bit more secure. If you want to access your pack as you're moving along, you have to undo this clip and then undo your belt and then swing it around. You can get into the main compartment, you can even get into this internal side pocket here using this main zip you can lose the zip in the top of the lid a little bit but just need to remember to not zip it all the way up you'll be fine and everything up here in the top has stayed in place and so you're ready to go back off again without too much fuss I'm using one of their new pouches um, on my strap here for a spare battery, perfect size. Got a little cable in there as well, a little one-handed. I've got one of their pouches on the waist belt. This one's got my fire kit in. It's really nice. Got some paracord, my fire kit. And there's other spots for other stuff, some more cordage in the front there. What's really nice is the Fidlock buckle. You just all done. So in terms of access, you've got the top loading here. Easy to get through. You can access stuff from the top. Also, got this hopper, which secures down a full zip opening, which allows you to access everything all in one go. You've got the best of both. You don't get access to the very bottom here like you would in a clamshell, but it's not really a big problem. If you keep this popper done up, it allows you to access this bottom section. Even the way that the clip for the lid is aligned, you don't have to undo that just to get inside. I put my camera right on the top here, just so I could grab it and go. When I'm accessing my tarp, which is underneath, I can stop, so it doesn't matter. That goes right at the bottom. You need to get that in a hurry. Just because it was raining. Didn't think of that, whoops. So the water bottle pocket is pretty clever. It's got elasticated cordage that loops around to the front, on the front of the pack, and the same on the other side. And it's also got a compression strap. There's another one up higher on. So you can use those to attach things to your pack. 
but also it just gives a bit of extra security on the water bottle. You can un undo that. I've got your typical Nalgene in there at the minute, but as you can see, you can expand out, put that in there, and it's still got room for other stuff. And once you're ready, you can just cinch it all down using this elastic. It's pretty secure in there. The rest of the stuff in. I use the excess to tie into my Nalgene because uh, I was walking in the woods and I didn't want to risk losing it on my way. It's going to make my coffee in a minute, so yeah, it's really important. And if you're not using them, as you can see on the other side, you can cinch it right down. You can do this compression strap up and it almost disappears um, into the pack, which is really nice. So you use them or don't. We've got another accessible pocket. On the underside of the lid, it's got a good spacious size in there. This is elasticated. As you can see from the opening, you can really pack that out a lot higher. They say you can go up to 28 litres, but I think you can use your imagination and get even more out of this. One of the things you do a lot with a backpack is you pack it up with stuff. So let's find out what it's like to do that with a wolf pack. So, the bottom, I'm gonna put my tarp and hammock set up all in one go. Got good access to the bottom there, so that's good. Next up, I've got an insert from Woten Craft, and that's gonna have my jet boil in it. So it's, I'm gonna bring this up now to hold that in. In the top, I'm gonna to put my aero press. Get my lunch in this front bit here. It's a bit of space there. Knife, not gonna need it until making temp pegs. That goes in the side pocket there. Obviously my camera will go in there near the top. Put my first aid kit, flap this over now. Pack this bottom section. So I'm gonna zip it up a bit, hold it all in place. I'm gonna put my scarf in there, spare bottle of drink. So with the main section done, I'm gonna do that up. Proper arm, cinch up, stands up nicely on its own, which is pretty handy. See the other side of the lid. Just gonna stick my gloves in the arm. Generally need to. Top lid goes over, use the clip, use the water bottle. I'm gonna cinch it up, pass it through the holder, simple overhand. It's easy to undo with elastic. Clip on the outside for extra security. Tie it away, there you go. It's in the top section, we've got a snack, stick some nuts in there. 200k goes on the top. You need that, you need that straight away. Obviously as the pack has just come out, I can't really comment on the last ability. It's largely the same materials as their shadow pack, which I've had for three years, maybe a bit more. I've used it almost every day and it stood up to everything I've thrown out, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Prometheus Design Works has sent me this backpack to review, but I'm under no obligation to say anything particular about it and this backpack's fairly cheap. The reality is I put in more time and effort into making this review than the pack is actually worth, and I enjoy the process. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one.